Hi. Hi, Otacon. I forgot to tell you about the Jolaton radar. The Jolaton radar is the thing in the upper right hand corner of your screen. It's based on the same Jollyton technology that allows shoppers to easily find the exact locations of the presents they're looking for. But don't be fooled. There's a big difference between the existing Jollyton technology and the special Jollyton radar you're equipped with. What's the difference? Well, the subtle swapping of the Y in Jollyton to an I in your Jollyton radar trickles down to its functionality. Whereas the Jollyton radar could only detect Christmas presents, the Jollyton radar is capable of detecting presents of any kind. Including presents. human presents. Bingo. I'm guessing that white dot is me. That's right. What about the red ones? Those dots represent an enemy's presence. Watch out and stay outside of that enemy's field of vision. That's the blue cone, right? Yep. Also, you might have noticed the radar was unusable on the rooftop. Sometimes there's too much interference. In those cases, the Jolaton radar will be jammed. Anything I can do about that? Uh, afraid not. Yeah. Huh. So you're saying this is a Jolaton radar? that you made modifications to. Yep, a specially modified Jollyton radar. <laughs> I would have called it the Autoton radar, but- You sure this isn't just my old Soliton radar? Because Mei Ling made no, that. No, not at all. But, uh, look, Snake, we don't have time for idle chit chat. He's like, I did the thing. I did it. surveillance camera? It's a mall, Snake. Oh, right. Remember, yeah. these security cameras have a blind spot, so you can sneak beneath them without being seen. Snake, I forgot to mention that I noticed you sound a bit, uh, different. More like you did when I first met you. You sound a lot healthier than you did in MGS4. Uh, I, I mean, in the Middle East. Yeah, the Middle East is a dusty place. Sand really does a number on your vocal cords. I Whatever you done. say, Snake. <laughs> you sure it isn't because you quit? Quit what? Well, you know, these things will kill you. Well, what I'm trying to say is that maybe your voice is returning to normal because you've stopped smoking. Look, Otacon, we all know oh, yeah. the only side effects of smoking are the ability to see infrared lasers and a really slow drain of health. Nothing permanent or irreversible, so long as you've got a few rations handy. But Snake, the Surgeon General... And how else was I supposed to know which way the wind was blowing atop that building in Zanzibar land? What? Oh, look, forget I asked. <laughs> God, Otacon, what? Say, Otacon, do you believe in Santa Claus? Snake, I believe in pure logic and science. There's absolutely no way anyone could ever deliver that many gifts in one night. Yeah, but what about Vamp? There's no way any man could survive a shot to the head. <laughs> Nano machines. Liquid's arm, possessing Ocelot. Nano machines. How'd I survive the freezing weather at Shadow Moses? Nano machines. Who's to say Santa doesn't have some sort of nanomachines helping him deliver presents? Get serious, Snake. This isn't time for make-believe. Oh my god! Snake, do you know what it means to break the fourth wall? I think I remember you telling me about this. It had something to do with that wall in Shadow Moses that sounded a bit different when I tapped on it. It sounded a bit more hollow. That's when I broke the fourth wall. With some plastic explosives. I'm pretty sure Revolver Ocelot was just a few rooms further. But why are we talking about Metal Gear Solid 1? What? That's not it at all, Snake. Oh my god! Why is Hold this up, happening? Snake. Someone's conversation is being carried through the <laughs> ventilation shafts. Probably yours! All preparations been made. Yes. And the tadpoles have set up an ambush on the first floor. In case the meeting Rocks. with the president goes sour. First floor. Ah. And where is he? He. Our third. What? Are you afraid he'll flake? I don't really trust him. 
but I've got no choice but to believe him for now. Without belief, you'd never be able to inherit the title of Father Christmas. I suppose you're right. I'll be heading up to the 20th floor. I just need a little time to cool off. You stay here and wait for the president to arrive. You hear that, Snake? The ghosts are meeting with the president on the first floor of the mall. You'll have to get down there to make sure things don't get hairy. Harry Potter. And finally, we got a break. Huh, looks like the elevator's down. You'll have to get around the mall by foot. This is Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. In fact, it's kept me pretty regular. Oh, oh, Snake. You're disgusting. <laughs> I'm a man pooping! It looks like you're in some kind of Halloween costume store. Maybe you can find something useful in that store's storage room. That's located in the northeast corner of the store. No problem. Lucky for you, that guard's asleep. Otherwise, he'd definitely come investigate the commotion. You can get past metal floors without making much noise if you slide along the walls beside them. Otacon, I found a reindeer mask. Ah, uh, Snake, is there something you have uh, to, to, to tell me? Aren't you usually the one to tell me how new items work? Well, it's just... Uh, I want you to know that Furdom has been around for a long time and... God damn Furdom. it, Otacon! Yeah, you know, furries. It's a, um, it's a fandom that no! revolves around anthropomorphic anime. Anime. It's always anime with you, isn't it, Otacon? I'm a mercenary. I don't have time for any nerd hobbies. Weird. Now tell me how I can use this thing. Well, you for a start, it it's face. frighteningly realistic. Has it got a red light-up nose? Nope. Darn. So it's no good as a flashlight either. Let me put this thing on. Maybe it'll give me some ideas. Sure thing, Snake. Snake? Snake? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Well, I could have sworn you were a mounted deer head. Huh. Mounted deer head, huh? You'll be able to avoid being seen... As long as you're hugging a wall with that thing on. Just make sure not to move, or you'll give yourself away. Also, if you bump into anyone, the jig is up. So stay out of the enemy's path. No. Huh? Huh? What? what was that? That sleeping guard must have woken up. Snake, you're surrounded. Use the deer head to sneak your way out of there. Oh no, what's going on? 
whatever would we do, oh god. And we all stay off the again. Oh. What? There are fucking pools in here. Don't take another step. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor's electrified. Who are you? Just a voice in your head. But you can call me Cindy Lou Who. Or Who, for short. Cindy? A girl? Do I sound like a girl to you? It's hard to trust a voice over Kodak. I've already been sure, fooled you're once really by my twin brother. You'll need to find a way to disable the high voltage switch. You're using burst transmission. Are you nearby? As for the gas, <laughs> you don't want to be breathing any of that stuff. It'll knock you out cold. Wait, why is there a room filled with gas and electrical flooring inside a mall? To keep out intruders like you and I. That makes sense. Hmm. Who are you anyway? An old friend. Yes, Otacon? Otacon, I need you to run a trace on the frequency of my last codec conversation. What codec conversation? That's right. He was using burst transmission. Burst transmission? Oh, there's no way to find the codec frequency of a conversation like that. Except... <laughs> Except what? Well, have you tried looking on the back of the Blu-ray case? I know, I know, it's a pain. But you need to find the Blu-ray case for Mary Gear Solid 2. You see the Blu-ray case labeled oh, Mary Gear Solid 2? Uh, no. Huh? Oh, wait. We're on the PC. And the game is downloaded onto your yeah, hard drive. I... There is no Blu-ray Mary Gear Solid 2 case. Yep. Otacon, get a grip. What an age we live in, huh, Snake? Digital distribution. Wonder what they'll think of next. So, no? No what? Can't run a trace on my last codec conversation? Afraid not. <sighs> I've hacked the mall's central computer and activated the Muzak in the previous area. It should have woken up those sleeping guards. Okay. 